see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. Hello, and welcome to Cuckles Plays. Today, as you can probably tell by now, we're playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Um, a short, brief summary of my experience with The Witcher game, I played a little bit of Witcher 2. Otherwise, I really don't have any experience. I know the basic gist of the world, but I don't really have any experience, and I just have been seeing this game played for the past couple weeks, and it looks like my kind of RPG, where I never could get really get into Witcher 2. This one, with its open world and just looking gorgeous and being awesome, I was like, fuck it, I need to play it. And if I'm going to play it, I might as well record it, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I guess some preconceived notions about this playthrough of Witcher that I need to get out right is I'm going to play this basically my way. I may not talk for a while, I may talk for a while, I may just explore random bullshit for a while and not really do any story progression. I'll play it how I want to play it. I'm also going to play it on a lower difficulty because I want to enjoy the game and I don't really... I don't really get my enjoyment from being killed a billion times in an encounter, I'd rather just kind of, you know, play the fights out. Because the internal logic of RPGs is that, hey, you're this badass guy who never dies and wins all these quests, so if in the background of the game, you're this guy who had to try a billion times before he finally got lucky and won, like, that's not really consistent with the story. I'd rather be the guy who wins. 
So we're not going to do just the story, because that seems like it's way too easy. We're going to do story and sword. It's easier, but not quite super simple. Fuck no, and oh my god, why? Show tutorials? Yes, because I haven't actually played this. Uh, I don't have a Witcher 2 save, so I guess simulating one is fine. Okay. I guess he's into that. You know I don't find that amusing. No, he's into that. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. 
go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So that's a girl from the cutscene. Welcome to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This tutorial will introduce you to the game's elements. Each message will be saved in a glossary, blah 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 blah. Okay. Use your Witcher sense to find the key to the bedroom door. Mini maps and objectives. Got it. Which your senses hold LT? LT. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. So I guess which your sense is just detective vision uh, in a sense. Why can I turn off that light? Oh, wait, I can't hold it. Okay, so if I hold it, then it goes away after a little bit. Is there like a cooldown thing? I'm holding it, holding it, holding it. Oh, oh, oh. Or maybe I just wasn't Gutter hearing anything. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm, undergarments. Need Witcher Suns for that, it's fucking sparkling. Sleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Uh, don't get mad at her. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. 
Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Oh, well, she's got moves. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Just not very good ones, I guess. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course, because I need tutorial. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Lead you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Hey. Hey, on the ladder. <gasps> I need to climb a rap school so What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Caution, falling fucking hurts. Got it. Oops, the wrong way. Siri, cut it out. Uh, he does not turn very well. Yep, oh, shit. Balls. 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 Ah. Ow. Okay. Jump. Oh, nope. Okay. Into Should I turn back B to jump. Not A to jump. B to jump. B to jump. I win. Somehow. <laughs> legs are longer. I'll show you yet. Hold A, hold on. Okay. Basic movement. I'll get used to it eventually. Though, Geralt here, or Gerald, I don't know. I haven't heard his name said yet, so I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, not exactly the best turner. Yeah, running in circles. Alright, <laughs> continuing training as I mess around with the fucking oh, targeting no. controls. Vesemir's got that look. What did you expect? Fuck happened to your face? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells. And by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? 
Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. All right, so it's Geralt. It's easy enough what to do remember. you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Uh, fundamentals because I need tutorial. <laughs> Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Sword, Geralt. Oh my, that is some paragraphs. Witchers must be prepared to fight all kinds, be they plate-clad knights, a thorough wraiths, or bone-crushing giants. To match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witchers must use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tool of their trade are swords, one steel for fighting humans and non-humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept at basic alchemy and can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them the keen advantage while fighting stronger or faster foes. Draw a sword. Press left on the D-pad to draw a steel sword, and to sheath it. Hold left or right. Selecting target. Click the right thumbstick to select or deselect. When you have the t target selected, all your attacks are directed toward it. You don't have to switch target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on a specific person. Quick cuts! One, two, three! Strong strikes. Give it all you got. Alright, so next is in watch. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. How do I dodge? To dodge to one side, indicate a direction, and press B. I'm too old for this shit. Come on, bitch. Wow. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Roll, uh, direction A. Now, parry. Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword, its angle. What am I supposed to parry? Fighting a stupid dummy. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Maybe a stone. Ah. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Quen. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Quen sign protects you against damage and certain critical effects. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. Okay, cool. So opening up this radial manual does pause the world. Or slow it down. All right, Geralt. Come on! See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy so their force rhythm. push. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Oop. Axie can really muddle your mind. Mind trick or confusion. I'm basically a Jedi right now. There it is now. Show her, Geralt. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Come on, come closer. That's a yard inside to lay a magical trap that slows anyone in its area of effect. Throw a 
bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quentin will dampen the blow. Okay. So, bombs are thrown with the bumper. Free training. The combat tutorial is now over. If you want, you can continue training with Vesemir to stop training and simply sheath your sword by holding. Not your Fine. lucky day. Enough. Yeah, I'm done. Continue training. And no! Ow, I'm done, you prick! She's back. We'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Just as a note, Geralt seemed to have, like, weird cat eyes. Some way off, we've got time. I don't know why I should not. I mean, whatever. I started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. So... Okay, so either that was a dream of a long time ago, or... Something? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. 
That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> um. That, 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 that's a private thing. Private. That's private. Very private. Aha. Uh -huh. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Monsters. Life on the continent and in the Skellia Giles is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with silver health bars above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Okay. Adrenaline points. Striking opponent, opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. Of course. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's Vit go before any more show up. Okay. Vitality rege bleh, regeneration. You can regenerate vitality by eating, drinking, or by meditating for at least one hour. Note, while playing on the Blood and Broken Bones and Death March difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for use during combat. Press up and down to consume them and regenerate vitality. If you have some food, you have some food equipped in your upper consumable slot. Press up on the D-pad now to eat it and regenerate your portion of your vitality. Or summoning, click the thumbstick. Okay, it's a... I, I'm eating food, I guess. Crouch. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Okay. Horses. Witchers spend most of their time on the road in search of the next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Geralt can, Geralt can always count on his horse, Roach, to help him during his travels. To have Verge come to you, double press left. Yeah. Okay. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. Gotta say, this game looks great. <laughs> And I know my computer's not the most powerful thing in the world to run at, but... War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old oh. borders. No, how do I get out? Wins the war. Be. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. Apparently so if I tap me... They are dead guys. Directive number A 
289. Bury the bodies of hanged deserters and rebels is hereby strictly per bleh, strictly forbidden. Anyone caught trying to cut down hanging corpses will be summarily executed. General Marwin Rosen, Viceroy of the Province of Temeria. Okay, so they are just hanging people. It's like, fuck you. I am still not healed. that bread. There we go. Makes me feel better. Speaking of which, I want this set on probably Quinn. Entirely sure. Well, I'm supposed to be following Vesmir, but Vesmir only moves when I move. Watch. Not so fast, Roach. So I'm just going to keep going in the general direction Vesmir is going. Oh. Slow now. Whoa. Don't Vesmir. Ves Vesmir. Come on, Roach. That is bright. We going? Help me! Help! Got a good hit. Has <laughs> gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. Uh... Yeah, sure. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Milf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this? Here. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Let's go get drunk. Another entry added to the bestiary. Run, Roach. When on a roll, hold A without steering so, to automatically follow its this path. To the village. Oh, cool. Strange. Except when I'm running into <laughs> a wall. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. 
drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn any. This is a nice bit of fast travel without having to actually do much. Populated era areas. You are nearing a village. Do not disturb the peace. Remember, town guards have hired watchmen, so don't tolerate theft, and also don't look kindly on accosting others. Local residents often re erect notice boards in the settlements, uh, such as villages and cities. These are marked with the, I guess, the page on your map. Uh, examine them to learn about contracts or blah blah blah. Oh. Run people over, childs, other people. Nope. I need to steer now. Turn around, Roach. Turn around. There you go. Damn. Slow. Really gonna have to get used to the movement. of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumping around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Claude Lena so bad, poor things one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Dialogue in shops. Options marked with money are shops. Okay. That's probably show me what you got. Uh well we're looking for someone at the moment. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. <laughs> Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Ending conversation. Awesome. Uh, well, I guess we'll look into everything else. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And, seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. <laughs> That's a good way to think about it. Uh, let's see what the shopping's like. Show me what you got behind the counter. Shops. Buy and sell items using the shop panel. Press A to make a purchase. 
press B to close the shop panel. Thank you very much. This is my inventory, which is a torch, Jennifer's litter, a tawny owl? No, oh, I guess it's a potion. So food is healing, so it might be good to get some of this. It's 63 crowns? That's how much you buy it for? Oh, no, it's not. It's, oh, okay, it's 63 for all four. Or it's 252 for all four. How much do I have? I have 300 crowns. I will take a chicken. <laughs> Shit's expensive. Apples aren't. Baked apple. Fully test. Unicard special ability would. I don't know what those do. Okay, we'll ignore that for now. Thanks. For everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. I think we already draw attention. Here, Black One's been out measuring the fields. Just saying. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. So why is there an entire system for, like, just turning off candles? I mean, it's neat. But I don't get why. I also can't get to that candle to turn it off. I want to turn it off. Meh. Come on. Okay, move. Oh, God. That corner was not kind to me. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Options marked with the weird triangle. We'll make use of the Axis sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. The charm... To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation, event, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Okay, so I basically have Jedi mind trick. Why? Okay, witchers are just Jedis. That's, they're medieval Jedis. Uh, you know what? Let's try. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Well, I got my information. I'm good. So she did a thing to a guy and knocked him into a ditch. Once more, there are four factions. Four what? Factions! Teams! Suits! Similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are also special cards. Wouldn't you rather play war? It's like to be near dawn before you get your game in with Noggin. Are you guys playing Yu-Gi-Oh? What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. What? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? 
Folk say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Hmm. Let's see. Should I tell him to cover wars? I mean, he could grow up to be Frank West. He's covered wars, you know. Let's see. I... I... Hmm. This might have an effect later. You know what? Fuck it. He... He wants to chase the war so bad, let him do it. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war. What it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope, but it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Okay, well... He is filled with a bunch of information that's not exactly useful to me. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Uh... Uh... No, I'll do the internal no, game card some game later. On my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. We will come back and play Gwent at some point, but not at the moment. I mean, we are in the middle of searching for a lady. Alright, last but not least, I hope. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Finding her, that'll lift my spirits. You look haggard. It's just a few drops to improve your mood. A little schnapsies never hurt a soul. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Well, he knows exactly who I'm looking for. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Uh, let's keep going on the where the fuck is she. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? None of your business. Yes, 
As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilfgaardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. And then he, what, straight up disappeared? What? Okay then. Interesting. Done drinking. Mm hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. <coughs> Cough. Hmm. That might piss them off more. Eh. Let's be cocky. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. <laughs> Jet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Three punches. Oh, shit balls. Can't fucking see. Ah, horse. Ow. Horse. Get out of the way. God damn it. What was wrong with you, horse? What knew my horse? My horse was best behaved sitting in a fucking corner. Your game state will automatically save when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty beasts, and bandits, and countless will other dangers. That is true, Freak. since at, at the moment in combat, I am doing uh, middling to terrible. Um, pause... doesn't have the save menu? Did I press back or start? Press start. Doesn't have it. Back? Back. Save game. Okay, day then. It's it. Durban now. D E R V A N. Not Goidemar. What? what do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that anyway? Durban. That kid. Faster. Looking for trouble. So I guess I just left my buddy there. Probably should have went back and talked to him. That would have been probably better, but whatever. We gotta talk to these new guardians. Freak. to the left of an enemy's health bar shows its level. If it's red and marked with a skull, that means fucking god, it's going to kill you. In such cases, it's better to fucking run. 
Oh look, fucking run. Uh, go, 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 go. Go. Fucking destroying. Beat. Jump. Run. Jump and run. Deepy, 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 deepy. Why did the waypoint take me directly through that? That was dumb. Get off the horse. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Got work for me? Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Okay. Not exactly oh. right here, but whatever. Craftsmen. Craftsmen can craft, craft various types of bullshit for fees. Blacksmith forge weapons, armors make armor. If you find crafting, if you find a crafting diagram, take it to a craftsman to the right. Blah blah blah. Okay. I know there. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look, see the calluses. These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Can't argue with your logic there. Uh... Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. <laughs> Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. 
All right. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the Griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the Griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this Griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Okay. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Esun Yakton. So I guess we have our first uh, quest thing. So to find more out more about Yennefer, we have to kill Luke Griffin. That makes sense. And we have to get back to that village. Roach. Oh, wait. Okay. Fast travel. You discovered signposts will allow you to fast travel from one thing to another. Okay. It's mildly helpful. You appeared out of nowhere, hammering that thing. Good, good. I am my data. That's what I said, I want to mess inventory. Elf Guardian Lemon Alchemy Ingredients. Plus items, other usables, equipments. So, okay. Interesting. Glossary, world map. Okay, so this is where I came from. So I went over here. That's the one place with the fucking ridiculous beastie guy. Some mill. This is the town I was just in. That has quests. That's the person I need to talk to. That's also a person I need to talk to. Okay. Interesting. Wow, this place is big. Alright. Interesting. Alright. 
So, quests. What are my active quests at the moment? I, we, to do this, we have to complete the Griffin thing, and to complete the Griffin thing, we have to do a bunch of other stuff. Alright, so, I don't know how long I've exactly been recording for. Maybe this will be the end of the first right episode, now, maybe it won't. But, uh, next time, we are gonna go and pick up some side quests in Junk. Right as I piss people off, as I walk way too close to them and shit. But we're gonna fast travel back to this town and pick up some side quests and um, work on the main quest and junk. And just see what we do. Oh. Hello, all three of you people that spawned together. Anyway, so we're going to take a save, and that'll be the end of this episode. See you next time on The Witcher.